YouTube this is your girl Ty and I'm back with another video and this is another CVS haul actually I was hoping that this was going to be my last CVS haul for the um, week but um, it looks like I'm going to possibly have to do another deal this week so I could get my toilet paper deal because my store still did not have them in stock so I have to go to another CVS any hoot I spent four dollars and thirteen cents out of pocket for what you see on the table yes four dollars and thirteen cents I really kind of think I could have done better but I did um, the the cashier rung up the Maybelline eyeliners which was supposed to be on a second transaction but um, he rung it up and he's new didn't know how to take it off had people in line behind me i didn't want to hold up the line continuously he was the only cashier so i just went ahead and allowed it to take place so i paid four dollars and 13 cents out of pocket for everything let me tell you how i did this i broke this down in two transactions the first transaction i did the maybelline deal these eyeliners were 4.59 each and you buy two and you get five dollars back second deal i did was the uh, wet and wow you spend ten dollars get five dollars back so i got two palettes yep sure did next was the nivea lotion i picked up two bottles now nivea did have one um cvs did have one nivea product that was ten dollars and forty nine cents for one lotion however i thought it would be more beneficial for me to just pay an extra three dollars for one bottle for an extra bottle so i picked up two of these used two dollars off coupons so it was still a good deal overall i got five dollars back for the nivea next was the speed stick yes I uh, bought two of these it's on sale CVS two for five and you get um, three dollars back oh. yes I believe it was three dollars back so I left one out in the car I guess when I was running in the house because it was pouring down rain so um, I think one fell out of the bag hopefully in the car and not on the ground because it is flooding out here in my area but um, we are under a flood watch so with that being said I was not going back out there in the rain nope was not going to do it so I stopped right here on this first transaction and it actually after all of my coupons I had a two dollar CRT for deodorant so I used that along with two 50 cents coupons that I got uh, from coupons.com and there were no coupons for wet and wild I had dollar off coupons for the Maybelline of course I just told you about the Nivea I had two dollar coupons off of those and overall what I did I rolled some register rewards no that is Walgreens sorry I read I rolled my ECBs and I end up paying four dollars and thirteen cents okay second transaction was a pretty good transaction because I saved 100 percent yes what I did I had some rain checks save your rain checks because rain checks do not aspire at CVS so get your rain checks save them use them when you're ready and make a good deal from them so I had rain checks from 2016 that was in my smaller coupon book so it was not in my binder but my coupon book that a handheld one 
So I was flipping through that, came across that rain check, had some dollar off coupons, and I made it work. Yes. So the Army Hammer regular regularly was $6.99 each. But I got them $1.99 each. The Garnier. As you already know, they two for seven. You buy three, you get five dollars back. So what I did, I bought four, used uh, four two dollar off coupons, and that worked really well for me. Last deal was the Tide. Everyone loves Tide, so yes, it's on sale for two ninety four. I had a dollar off coupon, making it dollar ninety four. I rolled my ECBs. And I end up paying nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, nothing. This is why I say hold on to your rain checks, use them when you are ready, and make it work for you. To me, this was a pretty good deal. Possibly could have saved a little bit more, but it was still less than $5. And I think I did a pretty good job. Yay, me! So, YouTube, don't get frightened when you get up there to the registers. Make sure you have your coupons ready for each transaction so you won't have to hold up the line. And make sure you know um, how, how much or ECBs you have to use and make your transactions work as smoothly as possible so that way you won't get frustrated at the register, you won't get nervous at the registers, and the more prepared you are, when you get to the register, the less likely you will make any mistakes. So, this right here was a $4.13 transaction, and for me, it was pretty good. I'm, I'm pleased with it. I do plan on trying to get my um, paper goods, such as my toilet paper or paper towels, so any hoot. I do plan on working on that, but in the meantime, this is my $5 challenge that my friend asked me to do, and I did it. Use your rain checks, use your ECBs, and make it work. Spend less, save more. Save more, spend less. That is our motto, that is our goal, and this is how we slay the savers. You, yeah, baby. In the meantime, ta-ta.